Charles Melton or Plainfield. Uh, Mr. Chairman, freeholders, Mr. Barry and Mr. Fiella. Uh, there's a lot of talk uh, recently about, well, Lachon Reservation is a big park, so why can't we just compromise? Maybe 13 and a half miles is, uh, is too much, but why can't we just have five or six miles? Aren't there areas that are environmental, that are not environmentally sensitive where we could have bikes? I myself used to think, wouldn't it be nice to be able to ride my bike on the old gravel roads that are in the reservation? But a compromise won't work, and here's why I think so. Three Sundays ago, I went to Morris County Park, which allows bikes, to two Morris County Parks, which allow bikes on certain trails. At the Torn, I walked on a trail where bikes are prohibited. In 20 minutes, four different men on mountain bikes passed me. At Lewis, Mar I, at Lewis Morris, I found two jumps built across their bike course. The next day, I called uh, the trail supervisor, Russ Nee, and had a very nice conversation. This is what he told me. Keeping bikes off the no bikes trails is hard. It's hard to police. Morris County, like Union County, has no park rangers. Their police department doesn't, does have a bike unit and, mount, and a mounted unit, which Union County does not. And Mr. Nee said, we post no bike signs on the prohibited trails, but they are regularly torn down. When I was there, I saw no signs that said no bikes. The only way that I knew that a bike was not permitted was because it was on the trail map. He said, bikes, he said, bikers are constantly creating new road trails. And he said, it's a never ending situation, quote, close quote. He told me last summer, a bike startled an equestrian who was thrown and severely injured. I asked if the equestrian was okay. He sounded very dejected and said, no, she is not okay. He told me there is no speed limit for bicycles and there is no way they can enforce a safe speed. Sometimes bike bicyclists will be going so fast they pose a danger to themselves and to pedestrians. Jumps are not permitted. When I told him about the jumps I found in Lewis Morris, I heard him tell another, par another park employee, we got some jumps in Lewis Mar Morris. Then he said, we'll take care of it. Finally, he said, even though we have some Jorba members who help maintain the trails, we still get some mountain bikers who don't treat other people kindly. If mountain bikes are permitted in Wachung Reservation, even only a few miles of trails, or only in areas that are not environmentally sensitive or dangerous, they will be on hiking trails and on equestrian trails. They will be on cliffs and the escarpments. They will tear down the no bike signs. Our chief, Debbie, in Union County, told me a couple months ago that he thought that they were on their fourth set of no bike signs in Wachung Reservation. They will build jumps and obstacles. They have already built, up, built jumps. There are currently two jumps built, and I have sent you all pictures of them. I'll find it. Union County will have all the liability. This is the, the jumps they built up by Sky Top. They have all, sorry, they, they have all, we will have all the liability and risk issues that go along with operating a mountain bike facility in a densely populated area. Do you really want your lawyers arguing in court that the county is not liable for some child's injury because the cliff he fell off was in a no bike area? Do you want to have to argue in court about whether an illegally torn down no bike sign on the path to the cliff makes a difference to our liability? Do you want to argue that Union County is not liable for a biker hurt on a jump because we prohibited the jump and we had no knowledge of the jump? Bikers have not obeyed the rules in bikes and watch on reservation in the past. I saw fresh trails, fresh, fresh tracks this Sunday in the mud. There's no reason to think that they're going to obey the rules if they are limited in the future. That's why we can't compromise. And um, regarding, um, regarding uh, about whether or not the, waiting for the engineer's report, you know, the engineers will tell you how to build a bike path if you want to build a bike path. They'll tell you how to build Grand Coulee Dam if you want to build a Grand Coulee Dam. They are not going to tell you you can't build a bike path. That's your responsibility as stewards of the reservation. So I urge you to vote yes to resolution 2017-329. And one other thing regarding the, uh, the, um, the um, petition that Mr. Meiselman submitted. Um, I'm sorry, Thank you. But Thank you. look to see what county those are from. Thank you.